Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. A couple of days ago, I let you know that Windows 11's snipping tool now lets you annotate on screen using new quick markup. I'll leave the video linked down below in the end screen, which means you can draw on your screen in real time called live annotation. And now it seems that Microsoft is giving snipping tool a lot of attention because there are two more new features that have rolled out in the snipping tool in the stable version of Windows 11. And if we use Win Shift and S, you can see first of all that we have a color picker. If you click on that, you can use hex, RGB or HSL. As far as I know, I think hex is the default. So I'm going to stay with default. And then you can move around on your screen and you can choose a color, click on that, and that's colored copied, and that's co copied to your clipboard, which you can then use at a later stage, which I think is a nice move. And now if we head back to the app, you'll see that there is a text extractor. Now the text extractor, OCR, Optical Character Recognition, was only available when you used to take a screenshot, and then in your markup and your editing, you could then capture and extract text from the actual screenshot but now if we once again just use win shift and s you'll see next to the color picker we now have the ocr text extractor so if we just quickly click on the ocr and then we just select some text there we go and that just takes a second and there we go so you can Automatically copy text, remove line breaks if required. And for automatically copy text, if you've got that one selected, text in selected areas, automatically copy to clipboard. So you get the general idea. You can fiddle around, but just wanted to bring it to your attention that that color picker and OCR capability, optical character recognition, is now available in the snipping tool. And I can't confirm if this has rolled out with a recent update or if it's a server-side update. But nonetheless, just make sure your snipping tool is up to date and there's a good chance you could get your hands on those two new features over and above, as I posted a couple of days ago, that live annotation feature. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.